the Guardians of the Galaxy writer-director James Gunn. By now, you've probably heard he was fired on Friday by Disney from the third installment after alt-right and alt-right activist Michael Chernovic unearthed tweets that go back more than 10 years ago in which Gunn made jokes about rape and pedophilia. Clearly, jokes not even funny at all. Yeah, not at all. James gave a long statement taking full responsibility and explained that back then he was trying to be a provocative artist. He also said that he's not that person today. So Guardian star Dave Bautista has tweeted his support. Mm -hmm. Chris mm -hmm. Pratt also has come out quoting the Bible, tweeting, understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, let every person be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. Gosh, we could all use that advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoe Saldana said she loves all members of her Guardian's family. Meanwhile, a petition is circulating around now. More than 200,000 signatures. It's going to be even more by the end of yeah. the day. Right. Some of Blair is saying that, uh, that a gun actually helped her with coming forward with her Me Too story mm -hmm. uh, and also linked to the petition to rehire him. And uh, he's one of the good ones, she said. Should he have been fired yeah. is the question. Yeah, what do you I all mean, think? It, tweets it's... 10 years ago. Clearly, this is like a right wing, uh, you know, right. person who's come forward and, and, and is showing these tweets all over again right. to the world, which I Gunn mean, has already. That was apologized. probably the intention is to kind of. The thing is, is Gunn is also known for being, a, you know, a bit a staunch, you know, criticizer of Donald Trump. Right. And so obviously, this person wanted to unearth these things to try to make this controversy for him. Ultimately, I think that he'll be fine. I think that he'll be working again. I think there are a lot of people who will continue to work with him. Mm -hmm. I do think, you know, his jokes were inappropriate. They weren't funny. Um, that being said, there have been people forgiven in Hollywood for far much more than, than what he tweeted. I'm just, don't you think Disney knew that when they hired him? I mean, they were going for an edgy director. I don't director. know if they knew that, I mean, Don't you think tweets. you do a little bit of a little check into yeah, it was the 10 history? Years old, though, right? The jokes are terrible, and yeah. I will say sort of what is funny does change sort of every 10 yes. years. I don't think they were funny then necessarily, but also call me an optimist. I do believe people can change. <laughs> I do believe, I hate being called one, but I do believe people yes. can evolve. And also I do feel like we don't take apologies seriously at all. And he does right. seem to have a lot of remorse about it. Mm -hmm. Right, I do. I think he has changed. I mean, I, I know people who know him and say he's, and you know, even Selma Blair has said, he's the one who, you know, he, if he's making jokes about rape and all of that, He's the one who said, you need to tell your story and right. come mm -hmm. forward in the Me Too movement. I think he was so, trying to make a name for himself back then. I, I think he was, you know, he was definitely edgy. He was, he was a provocateur. Nothing of that is funny. But, um, you know, people do move on and change. And he says the Guardians has really changed him. Mm -hmm. He feels like what is out there, the Guardian family, is sort of a reflection of who he is and what he's gone through.